Hey guys and girls, how's it going and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Resurrection on the Utopia server with myself, Lewis. Have you brilliant? Having yourself a great day as always. I told you I'd be doing this, didn't I? Last episode, I was like, well, you know, I'm probably going to have to go and get myself loads of dirt at some point. Turns out, this is the day that I have to go get many dirts. Yes, although I'm kind of lucky uh, digging into this area here. I've just found a load of coal, so maybe I'll come and grab all this at some point, because coal is actually very useful. We can do loads of stuff with that, which is always handy. Now, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be uh, setting up some farming areas, because I would like to get a load of food, as well as obviously food will equal power, and I would also like to start on a uh, little tree farm for myself. Better than the one I've got. The one i got at the minute isn't really a tree farm, it's just trees growing and then I harvest them when they've grown, but I would like to uh, at least get a start on doing something that's going to be a little bit more easier for me because I'm getting to the point now where I really do need a lot of dirt, so uh, or a lot of dirt and a lot of wood. So that's probably what we're going to be doing today. I haven't moved into the house just yet, unfortunately, although I have started working on getting the outer edges done so that it's looking a little bit more kind of islandish over there. You might be able to see there. You can see it's starting to come down. Eventually that's going to come down over the whole of the area until it reaches the water and then inside, like I said in the last episode, is going to be where I'm going to have all my machines and then the upstairs is going to be a bright and beautiful house, which is going to be very nice. Hopefully when it's done, it's going to taste, you know, it's taking longer than I thought it would, but Houses aren't built in a day, unfortunately. If only they were. If only it was like Dragon Ball Z where I had one of those little capsules and I could just pop it down. You know what? I think there is, a, there is actually a mod where you can have those little capsules, but I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> Alright, we got a few stacks. That should hopefully be enough. I'm going to grab a little bit more just in case. But we're going to have two farms, and then we're going to have another one which is going to be for wood, which is going to be my wood farm. And with that, I'm going to use a little bit of Mine Factory Reloaded. I haven't got enough resources yet to go fully automatic, which I would like to do. And I know it sounds really easy because, well, you only need two machines, but I just haven't got the resources for that yet because I've been spending all my resources on getting all the Greg Tech things made and uh, the turtles and whatnot. I just haven't got enough for everything else. So let's uh, go and do all of this. I've made most of the bits I need to make, but there's still a few bits that would be a little bit handy. So, I've made myself a leadstone energy cell, and this guy is basically going to be used to power some of our MFR stuff, which is going to be over there. That's where my little terrace is going to be. Eventually, it's going to be made out of wood. It's going to be much larger. It's going to look a little bit nicer, but for now, I'm pretty much going around with everything in cobblestone, and then I'll replace the cobblestone with nicer blocks later on. I might get someone to come around and borrow, because I know some people are doing farm craft on it. I might ask if I can borrow their... Uh, their exchange rod, or whatever it's called, I can't remember the name of it now, but uh, the rod of equal trade, the little uh, thing on Bob. Yeah, I might come and uh, nick one of those so that I can uh, mass produce the exchanging, which is going to be very good. Now, I've also been making myself a load of plastic pulp, and this is going to be really handy today because I'm going to need this for a fair few machines. And to get plastic pulp, you basically just get rubber from the rubber trees, you smelt it to get rubber bars, and then you smelt the rubber bars again to get the pulp. But normally when you smell it, you get the MFR rubber bars. Now you get the rubber ingots from Greg Tech. And then you smell them again to do it that way. So, yeah. But if you want to be able to get the sheets which are needed, you have to have one of these guys, which is a alloy smelter to be able to do that. Because this is the only, only one I think that works with the molded plate. You need the plates to, make the, uh, to be able to make the plates. So let's start at least by getting... Should we do the smaller farms or start on the big farms? Let's do the big farm first, so that way, if I run out of materials, it's not a big problem. The trees are more important than the crops at the minute. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to want to get ourselves a harvester. Now, like I say, I would like to get a planter as well, but I just don't have the resources for that just yet. So we're going to go with one of these to start with. So I need to get myself a tin gear, and a tin gear is made of iron and tin. So let's get the pieces for this. So we'll grab some of you. And we'll grab a little bit of you, and we'll do this. And guess what? Today, my mouse has decided to be cooperative, which is always very nice. So it's actually working for once. Well, hey! All right, so we got that. We're going to need four bits of iron and some glass. So let's grab a couple of bits of iron. I've been smelting up a load of iron. I'm hoping that I have enough, but I'm worried I might not do. But that's fine, because I've got loads of something in it. Brown limonite that I can turn into iron anyway. So, But I've just been trying to save on the old smeltage for a little while, so 
Yeah. Uh, am I missing something here? Let's have a look. Oh, I need my gear in the middle. Ah, that would uh, that would make sense. So let's grab these guys. And our gear gives us our machine frame. And we're also going to need an Invar axe. I have made some Invar, which is good. I made a little bit. So that should be somewhere in here. There you are. Good stuff. And do I have any sticks? Should do. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, good stuff. So let's get a Invar axe. Cool beans. And I'm also going to need some shears. So let's grab four bits of iron for some shears. Brilliant. And the last but not least is going to be two plastic sheets. So these are going to be made in here, like I said. And I believe it's two pulp per sheet. Yeah. Good stuff. So there's those. And the next bit we're going to need is a redstone reception coil, which is gold and redstone. So that, plus a little bit of redstone. I'm quite lucky that I managed to have all the resources for this. I was really worried that I didn't, but I think I think we're all right. So there's those, those guys there. And the last thing I need are the golden gears. So it's a bit of iron and four bits of gold. So we need eight bits of gold and two bits of iron. Here we go. Cool. All right. So I think we should have all the bits we need to put this together now. So that plus our sheets and our shears, you, and a little bit of this gives me... <laughs> what have I done wrong? <laughs> I always get really worried when this happens because it's like, wait a minute. Something ain't right here. Let's have a look. Shears, gold, gold gears. These are the, they're the correct gear, right? Because I can't make these sheets. I don't think I can make those sheets. Mm. <laughs> what is going on? I've got that. I've got the Envirax. I have both of these shears. I have... I have everything here, but you didn't work. That's kind of worrying. Let's try this one last time. So those plus that and a little bit of this with plastic sheets and you. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. I don't know what I did wrong a minute ago, but I did something wrong. <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch that. I think it might be because it had the uh, different gear selected. I don't know. Sometimes it kind of does that. Um... But more than likely, it was just my fault. So, now that we've got our harvester, we're going to want to get it some power. So, we're going to use this guy for power. Now, the one thing I like about the Mine Factory Reloaded Machines is they only actually use power when they have something to do. So, they don't continuously take power. They only use it when they need to take it. So, I'm going to obviously need to come back and keep changing this round. But while it's got a little bit of power in it, that should be just fine. So, we'll grab that. And we're also going to want to get ourselves a couple of tanks, because whenever we harvest stuff, we get we get uh, the rubbish from it, don't we? So, let's get ourselves some obsidian and some glass panes. And we're just going to go with the regular tankage, which will be these guys. So, we'll make a few of these. Yeah, I don't need any more than that. Good stuff. And I think that's pretty much it. So, harvester, tank... Uh, oh, that reminds me, there's one last thing I needed. I wanted to get myself an upgrade. And I was looking at making a free radius increase upgrade. So that's going to require two of those. We're going to need some iron. And, uh, what else was it? The pulp. And three bits of iron. One, two, three. All right. I really hope we're going to have enough stuff to do the other bits that I would like to do. Hopefully we have. So there's that. And then you. And those. Cool beans. All right. Let's go and set this one up. Yeah. Now, there is going to... Actually, let's not let's set this up. I just remembered there's one thing I'm forgetting. There's always one thing. There's always that one thing that you forget, isn't there? All the time. And do you know what that is? Some chests. <laughs> Some places to pull this stuff. Now, have I got anything that I can turn into? I have. This is my uh, cheeky way of doing everything. So whenever I need to source something, I just find the nearest source of ruby or diamond of any type. And I turn that into a saw. <laughs> Every time. So we'll grab you. 
and you gives me my saw blade and then that and that and that and that and that and my wood again let's just put some of that in there for the time being good stuff and that will give me these guys <laughs> brilliant all right so we'll grab a couple of chests and that should hopefully do the trick now i haven't got myself a planter yet i will do but if you don't know how MFR works, which is generally very rare, because a lot of people use MFR these days, a planter allows you to replant the stuff that you've just harvested. And I don't have the resources at the minute to make a planter, so I will be doing that. But for now, as long as I can plant the stuff, I'm all good with that. So let's dirt this place up. Now this is the perfect size for the harvester plus the upgrade. So the regular size for a harvester is 3x3. Three three. And then as we add the upgrades, it increases the range by 1. And we're giving it a 3 plus upgrade. So it'll be a 9x9. Nine nine. So let's get all this down here. And what we're going to do for the other farms is... I'm not going to use MFR because I haven't got the uh, stuff for that just yet. But I would like to increase the rate in which they grow just a tad. So I had a couple of things that I could do. I'm probably going to go with sprinklers. Or I could go down the route of using the lily pads because weirdly enough, I don't know why this is in this pack because it just doesn't seem like something that would be in there. Um, but we have got reliquary. So I can go and make myself lily pads of fertility. Uh, but I do need fertile essence, which is splash fertilizer, which is bone meal and gunpowder and never water. So I can make those. I might make some of those later on. But for now, I think the sprinklers are going to do just fine. So let's pop this guy down right here. Get rid of you. Cool beans. And you're going to go here. And you're going to turn around for me. Thank you very much, Le. And we're going to power you. I wonder if this instantly gets power from the correct side. Should do. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. And we're going to want to give it the plants in a second. Uh, we're going to shear leaves. Yes, because I don't really want leaves everywhere. Uh, actually, we might keep that as no, because I think the leaves don't, I don't want the le leaves sheared. So we'll throw our radius upgrade in there, and we're going to have a chest on the back, and we're going to have a tank on the top. Cool beans. Now, we're also going to need our saplings, so let's go and grab our saplings from my chest over this way. And then I think I'm going to lay the dirt down for the other ones, and we'll probably take a quick cut because it takes me a minute to lay all the dirt and whatnot down. And then we'll make the sprinkler system and we'll lay down the pumps to get the water and bits and bobs like that. So I think it's going to, uh, overall, going to be pretty funky. It's going to look nice, I'll tell you that. Although uh, it's all made out of cobblestone, so. <laughs> I guess the cobblestone kind of does put a little bit of a dampener on it, but eventually it's going to look good. So let's get our saplings. Take these over to the old farm. And you know what? Even though it's going to be, uh, even though I'm going to have to plant them by hand for the time being until I can get myself a planter, I'm uh, super happy that it's just going to chop them all down for me. <laughs> it saves me having to go through axes all the time. So let's give it a... Uh, oh, no, 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 we do ourselves, don't we? I forgot about that. <laughs> for a second, then I was like, wait a minute. So we can plant all of you. Cool, cool. And now we wait. Yep. And when one of them grows, we should hopefully be able to get all the bits that we need and placed into our chest. So that's uh, all there is to do, really. We just need to wait on this now. And I don't think this uses... No, this shouldn't be using power when it isn't doing anything. Which is what I really love about the uh, MFR machines. They're a little bit cheesy because they're... I always think of them as being slightly overpowered for what they are. You know, they do a lot for something that's fairly cheap. But I like the fact that they don't use power when they're not doing anything. So you can generally get a decent amount of battery life out of just a regular energy cell with those guys. Which is pretty cool, I must admit. Actually, while we're here, let's get these other bits set up. So we're going to throw a tank in between these areas here. Here we go. Good stuff. And we're also going to have ourselves a pump, which is going to be sat here. And I'm also going to need a craftage table. Let's put you here. And a tank. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. And we'll pop you. Do I want you, like, right down? No. 
I don't. Let's put this here. And we'll pop you there. Good times. Plus our two engines. I'm going to go with just two engines for the time being. I don't really see the need to have any more than that. So I will do you. And we'll grab a lever. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to move this one. Because that's kind of in the way, isn't it? Let's put this guy, like, over here somewhere. We'll pop him this side. No, we'll pop, we'll pop him this side. There we go. So that way I need a lever for both of them. Poof. Good stuff. So he's going to start doing that. He'll start harvesting water for me, which is going to be great. And the water is then going to get pumped out and go into those two right there. All right, I'm going to go and dirt the rest of this place up. And we'll be right back. All right, so I think I've pretty much got this almost ready. The tree farm has been working wonders. Let me tell you that. It's a monster. It's it's using up <laughs> it's used up a lot of power, I'll tell you that. But it has made me a decent amount of wood very quickly. Some apples, some oak saplings, which is always nice. You can see it doing its eating as we speak. It does use up, like, it doesn't use up a huge amount of power, but I didn't give it much to start with anyway. Plus, this is a small energy cell. But it has given me almost a stack of wood. And tell, tell you what, I can't complain about that. <laughs> I'm more than happy about that. So, let's get this guy hooked up. So, I think we're going to run it down here. And hopefully, I have enough stuff to be able to even do this. So, we'll have you come out of here. And we're basically going to bring it along here. So that we can do that without drowning, which is always the the number one concern when I try and do anything underwater. Uh, there we go. <laughs> the drowning almost occurred just then, but so far so good. Now these guys don't really use up barely any water, uh, any water. Yeah, any water at all. I'm gonna start drowning again in a second. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally cannot be trusted underwater. Uh, oh, very very close. Let's get this other side hooked up then. And uh, we're going to have to bring it around so that we can do this. So we'll go like these. Uh, can we even do that? Can we go through the pump? I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> we're about to see if it works. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go through there. Water is going in. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. I wonder if I can keep going. Well, it looks like it's pumping out water, doesn't it? So I'm all good with that. <laughs> Oh, yes. How much we got in here? Yeah, it's going up. Good stuff. All right, so let's place down our sprinklers. And these will start hydrating the ground for us, which is going to be brilliant. And they're going to make sure that we obviously have a decent area for farming our croppage, which is going to be very nice indeed. Oh, yes. There we go. Good stuff. I don't know if these um, do the same size, but I'm pretty sure they've always done kind of the regular size. It does look a little bit smaller to me, though. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure about that, but it is, uh, it is hydrating, so, uh, yeah. That's... Get this done. Uh, it looks like it's working just fine. Cool beans. Let's get ourselves a little bit more wood. Here we go. And I know that I'm using, uh, vanilla tools, but to be honest, I, uh, I find it easier just to just use regular cobblestone tools for, like, remedial tasks. I don't know why I do. Like, but it's just, I don't know, I just have been doing it. It seems to be working fine for me now. Like, if I'm just going to go mine a little bit of cobblestone, like, I'll just use a cobblestone pick. I think it's because I'm so protective over all of my materials, like my uh, iron and whatnot. You need them so much, don't you, that even though these break a lot quicker, I would rather them break quicker than use my, like, other materials. <laughs> But let's get this guy done. And there we go. And now we can place down all our taters. So this one's going to be potatoes, I think. And then on the other side, I'm going to have carrots. Because carrots are yummy. And they're good for your eyes. And I'm also thinking of maybe setting up a few other farms. But for now, that's going to do the trick. I haven't really got many on the carrot side. I've only got three at the minute. So we'll just put three down. But as I get more of them, it's uh, going to be good. I might even uproot the farm over that side and bring that over here so that I can do that. I think that's going to be pretty cool. So we'll have loads more carrots. And obviously the carrots are going to go into the, uh, to make steam for us. Although I am thinking, wow, <laughs> that's, uh, 
that's a thing. I am thinking of a way to make power a little bit faster that's practically free. So we might do that in the next episode of uh, a way of making steam for free. And I think I can make it work. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit of a... Uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward, but <laughs> if it does work, man, that's going to be cool. <laughs> and I'm not talking solar power either. i got a plan. Man with a plan. Just you wait. Alright, guys. And you see these are already growing because I think they grow faster when they've got the uh, sprinkler on. Plus, you can slide on the sprinkler. It's kind of like walking on a nice block and everyone finds that fun, don't they? So there we go. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to carry on work on the base. I'm going to uh, probably strip all the stuff over there down and bring it over here to our farming area. We're getting to the point now where I'm going to have to think about removing this village, uh, kidnapping all of the villagers and bringing them into the household, putting them maybe in a small dungeon underground, who knows. <laughs> and uh, yeah, ripping the village down because this area is pretty much going to cover half the village, so I don't want half houses sticking out of my mountainside. Oh no. And then once I got that done, it's time to start replacing it with dirt, working on getting the place looking a little bit more like an island, rather than like a pyramid type thing. And then it's moving in time. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> cool beans. Alrighty, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that episode. I'm going to go and fill this up with a bit more power and get myself loads of wood. It's going to be great. I'll see you guys soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good as always. And goodbye. Goodbye.